Okay, everybody gather around. Let me tell y'all about the time I got kicked out of church. Ultimate, first the choir and then ultimately the church. Okay? Well, I was riding around helping one of the saints who now I know was an ain't. Uh, we were moving. And she said, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I done spent up all the choir's money. And I'm saying, what? Because I'm in the choir, although I'm only like 10 years old. What you doing with the money? Because it's supposed to be the secretary is supposed to keep the money and the treasurer is supposed to give a report. And I noticed that when I go to business meeting on Monday night, because I had to be there Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, it's, I was like, what the hell? So it really bothered me. So, of course, I went to the past. I was one of those kids that I thought that if I told, hey, look, um, I was with her, and she said she don't know what she going to do. She just spent up all the choir's money. Now I done heard this secretary give up, get up there for the business meeting and report the amount of money that the woman st said she stole. And so I don't understand because I believe they tell the lie. Uh, because, and he gave me the craziest look like, oh, you little bitch. Oh, you little bitch. So what did they do? They put me on silent. Silence means you can't sing. Silence means you can't open up the radio broadcast. Silent means you can't even lead testimony service. You can't do nothing because you've been put on the silence. Like Malcolm X. Remember that? Child. So what did I do? I watched her. I watched her. And I said... Y'all can go jump straight in the goddamn lake. Because I tell you one thing, she the one stole, not me. And I don't understand why I'm being punished. And at an early age, I knew that there's some corruption going on. How about you? What's your first church get out story? Want to share it with me? I sure want to know. All right. Leave your comment.